Hello everyone, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone's fabulous on this Tuesday evening. Tuesday evening as I'm recording this, not quite sure when you're going to see it. It might be sometime Wednesday morning before I'm finally cleared to upload. So, anywho, we're going to call this the Tuesday Night Special. Um, the work week top and bottom reading I did yesterday was, I don't know, scattered energies, pretty sketch, really weird. I don't know if it was me or the cards or what, but I promised a redo, so we're going to do it. All right, per usual, I'm going to go by the elements. It's cancer season. Water signs are going to go first. We'll go around the wheel accordingly. Just like a general zodiac sign reading, if it resonates, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the information given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. Check your moon rise or your Venus sign readings if you feel so compelled. I'm not going to twist your arm. Again, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading the cards. Okay. Don't shoot the messenger, please. And if you do, make sure it's a good shot. Just saying. Anyway. Common energy both fluid. All things can be vice versa. Cross watches are always welcome. Let's get this show on the road. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, what do the cards have to say to you? Okay. Death. Five of Wands reversed. Oh. Hmm. Could be a Scorpio or a fire sign you're dealing with. It looks like change is coming and you're not fighting it. That, that's a good thing. Don't argue with the universe. You won't win. Just saying. Well, you could argue all day long, but what's the point, right? I don't like engaging in arguments. I'm not going to win. Ah. It appears in the past. Six of Swords reversed. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Some of you may have had a return or returned to something. Caused a downward spiral of events. Okay. Hmm. Chariot and the Three of Swords. Someone may have moved, like physically, or put some kind of, you know, physical, spiritual, emotional distance in. Might be a cancer you're dealing with. Cause a state of heartbreak. Okay. Okay. immediate future for whenever you happen to see this who's to say when the immediate future is if you're not catching this until like the middle of July maybe what's your immediate future <laughs> if I can make words work what's your immediate future going to be then this is one of those open ended readings time is fluid my friends it's an amazing and beautiful thing judgment nine of pentacles Hmm. Allowing something to die, so whatever is going to come out of it to resurrect. Change. Not fighting it. Nine of Pentacles striking out on your own. Independence. You good. You good. You're gonna be good. It probably hurts right now, but there is absolutely no sense in fighting change. None whatsoever. Change is necessary. Do you know how boring your existence would be if nothing ever changed? I would be bored silly, but I'm a Sagittarius, so that happens quite easily. Anyway, I don't think I need to clarify anything. I think I got out of that what we need to get out of that. What's the advice? Hmm. 
Three of Wands, King of Wands. Read that with another set. Two of Swords, King of Swords. Okay. Standing there waiting at the dock, waiting for things to happen, isn't getting things done. Forward momentum comes from action. Okay? As for the Two of Swords, King of Swords. In time, the blindfold will come off. And you will see things the way you were meant to see them. And at that point, you will be able to separate yourself from it emotionally and make a logical decision. Right now, you probably can't do that because you're still in the phase where it hurts, it stinks. It probably stings for everyone involved, but change is necessary. Okay? Okay. That's what I have for you water sign friends. my fire sign friends we're gonna go through these quick tonight guys real quick I'm trying to reserve my energy for when I start knocking out the July readings tomorrow on the 1st of July right on time right on time it's hot y'all it is hot it's like sweltering up here right now And I'm in a black t-shirt and a pair of jeans. I don't do shorts. It's not my thing. Okay, my fire sign friends. We have the hermit reversed and the chariot. Self-isolation. Probably putting some emotional distance, physical distance between you and other people. You go, you've done gone into hermit mode. Oi. Is it Patsy Klein time? Yeah, I think you're there. I'm I'm hearing Patsy Klein songs running through my head right now. I don't know why. That usually means someone in, is in a great state of sadness. Not that I don't love Patsy Klein, but if I got the Patsy Patsy Klein vinyl going. Um, I'm, I'm in a bad place. And there's usually beer involved. Don't judge me. Alright. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. People be blowing on my phone now. Let's see who it is. Okay. Five of Pentacles upright, Seven of Wands reversed. Someone being left out in the cold, booting someone out into the cold, things going out of control. Next. Ah, uh, High Priestess and the Seven of Swords. That's some shady stuff, my friends. And I think you knew. Either you knew, or the other person knew. I don't know who did what. I'm just reading cards. I'm not pointing fingers. Something had a sixth sense that something was not right. Mm-hmm. Two of Pentacles reversed, lovers reversed. Emotional juggling. And a connection that is not being mutually felt. Okay. Still there. Still very powerful. It's not being felt on both sides necessarily. Quick clarifier. Maybe. No. 
No, I'm just gonna go straight to your advice. I don't need to clarify anything. What you to do? Eight of cups reversed, seven of cups in the upright. <laughs> I can't tell them that. Depending on who did what, which it's vague. It's an extremely general reading tonight. I apologize. Before you either go crawling back or let the other person come crawling back, there's options. And the cur cards are, are encouraging you to explore them. And there's other fish in the sea. There was some shady stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Four of Pentacles upright, nine of swords upright. The longer you hang on to this, the more sleepless nights you're gonna have. My friends, how many nights do you want to sit listening to Patsy Klein? Something here needs to be released and let go of, and it may well be this connection. One more, one more for my friends. The Knight of Cups reversed and the Emperor reversed. You cannot control the actions of other people. The only thing you are in control of is your journey. And your reaction to what other people do. So on Mr. or Mrs. you know, general pronouns, whatever comes with that cup of love, then they yank that cup away. You're not the one who yanked the cup. Or when you feel like you need to yank the cup away. The only thing you are in control of is how you react to situations. So, that being said, one more. Oh, okay, we'll just do that. That's fine. You want to talk? Good. Five of Wands in the upright. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yes. Yes. Further confrontation is only going to lead to a further downward spiral. Don't argue with it. And it's not necessarily a downward spiral. The Wheel of Fortune reversed is here. The Wheel of Fortune indicates a karmic connection. If anything, this connection may have been solely to teach you something. Sometimes, sometimes, and it seems to happen frequently. It, I shouldn't even say frequently. It's not always such a nice deal when you have to deal with a soulmate. It's really not. Not, you know, sometimes. They come into your life to teach you a valuable lesson, and sometimes those lessons are painful. And you need to you need to accept that it may have been is equally painful for the other person involved as well. There is a blessing in the lesson. My friends, you knew. You knew. Okay? So that's what I have for you, my fire sign friends. Sad story tonight. Sad story tonight. But you're going to get through it. Find the lesson. Find the blessing in the lesson. Okay. Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm not even going to look at him. I just didn't have a good grip on the card. I don't think that that was anything metaphysical. At least I would certainly hope not. That'd be super weird.
two of cups. Ends of swords in the reverse. Choppy waters, my friends. Air is kind of thick and heavy. There's no communication going on. There's a connection. Probably relatively new. The honeymoon phase, if you will. But for whatever reason, nobody's talking right now. Hmm. Little spats. Let's see what we can find out. Oh my. Speaking of honeymoon phases, Queen of Wands and the Hierophant. This may have been rushed. Possibly a Leo or a Taurus you're dealing with. Water sign, air sign. Wow. Well, that's pretty much everybody, isn't it? Anyway. The Queen of Wands gets up and goes after what she wants. She's she's all about do or die trying. Hit the ground running. That's her. Blessed Union. This may have been a very rushed beginning to her relationship. A little bit of something, something going on, possibly sugar and spice, everything nice. You know what I'm getting at. If you need iteration on what I'm getting at, I'm not going to say it. Shoot me an email and we'll talk. And in comes the tower and the ace of wands. Oh, wow. My earth sign friends. <sighs> the storm comes over the choppy waters. Everyone's jumping out of the boat. Sudden, abrupt change. Everybody's bailing out, going after something new. My, my, my. Okay. What happened next? The chariot and the wheel of fortune are your immediate future. Okay. Could be why you're not talking. Someone may have had to move. Maybe someone's just keeping their distance at this time. Could have had something to do with the little tower moment up here. What's this Wheel of Fortune all about? Tens are cycle closeouts. The Queen of Swords has been accused of being a little bit too honest, but she says what she's got to say. She does what needs to be done with very little emotional involvement. Logical decision making. One more. Ace of Cups. Oh. That might be the upward turn of events. Why is the chariot here? Could 
Whoa! Mm -hmm. I'll take him. Tell me a story. Five of Cups, Two of Wands, Three of Swords, King of Wands reversed, the star reversed. Dang, Earth Signs. Blow me away, why don't you? I usually don't take five. I'll usually put them back in, but... Put an emotional distance in, in there because... Somebody's cups got kicked over. They couldn't see the blessings. The blessing and the lesson. Had to let go of the wand of the past to move forward. It was heartbreaking. King of Wands reverse, star reverse. Wow, pulled that truck over, didn't you? Complete disconnect. Well, here's the good news. The cycle gets closed out. The Queen of Swords finally, you know, drew the line in the sand and said, you know what? Enough's enough. I want something better for my life. That's pretty awesome. When you can sit and be honest with yourself about what you want, it's yeah, pretty awesome. When you go after it, it's even more awesome. Let's get your advice. Ah. Devil reversed, three of pentacles in the upright. <sighs> Setting new stable foundations for your abundance and separation from things that are potentially toxic. That's awesome, yeah. You need to work on you and establishing your foundation and just kind of walk away from things that don't serve your highest good. Know what you want and go after it. And don't let anything stand in your way. Take off the cement shoes before you go swimming. That, does that make sense? Oh, this is a handy little piece of advice. High Priestess reversed, Six of Wands reversed. You gotta watch that ego. Keep your ego in check. I'm not sure who that's for. But all too often our egos, and I'm stating this as a generality, because I, I recently have been struggling with this actually. Actually, well, the past couple of days, as a matter of fact, um, our ego, it's our earthly us, okay? The intuition is the connection with the spiritual us, what remains of us up in the 5D where we go play around and dreamland and all that happy jazz. The ego gets in the way of the path sometimes, if we allow it. Don't let your ego steer you away from your victory. Get in touch. Get in tune. Flip the high priestess back up the way she's supposed to be. And the, I want what I want and I want it now. Don't get in your own way. last little bit of advice, the moon and the nine of swords. Don't get all wrapped up in the smoke and mirrors. Don't get wrapped up in the why. It wasn't supposed to. It wasn't part of the path. It wasn't the agreement. And that's where the mishmash with the ego and I want what I want and I want it now 
the universe knows what's best for you. And if you allow it, the universe will help you out once in a while. Don't get all wrapped up in why something didn't work out. It wasn't meant to. And if something doesn't work out, it's because something better is coming for you. And you can take that one to the bank. Okay. My air sign friends. mean to cry about it, but my gosh, ugh. I'll be glad when this heat weighs over. And I know, in January I'm complaining because I'm cold, I know. I've lived up here in the great green north my whole life. <laughs> you think I'd be used to it by now? And in two weeks I'm going to be complaining because it's too cold and I have to run my furnace in July. Yeah, I know. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what is your special message? What is it with all the chariots? My gosh. Chariot reversed, Ace of Cups. Somebody coming back to fill that cup up? Possibly. Or could be pulled in two different directions. Not sure which way to go. In regards to a cup. Okay. Next. Rewind. Four of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Laying something to rest and biding one's time. My friends, that's handing it over. I throw a clarifier on that, but that seems like handing it over to the universe. You know what? Nothing I can do about it. The next step after this is picking up the pieces and working on you. So, that's amazing. Okay. What happened after that? Fast forward a little. Hmm. Four of Cups in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm. Uh, um. I don't think you quite laid it to rest. Something was ignored. Oh, wow. That's why we're pulled in two different directions, isn't it? Some of you may still be very focused on events of the past that you had to lay to rest. And the time, the appropriate amount of time for you has not gone by yet. And you're not seeing the cup. You're not seeing the cup. Or you didn't see it. This is like... <laughs> Pardon me. Somewhere in the present, maybe a little bit in the future, maybe a little bit back in the past, somewhere in the present, in the moment, not seeing the cup, not taking the offer. You're tunnel visioned. 
What's coming up? Oh, well. Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Three of Pentacles in the upright. What? I was supposed to do a personal at 7.30. Anyway. Mm. Hmm. What is the Ten of Pentacles reversed here? reversed. Oh, this is a warning. One more on that. One more on that. Are you going to jump or do I have to pull one? Well, you didn't have to hit the floor. Huh. They're in, they're out, they're up, they're down. They're this, they're that. They're the Knight of Cups. They come in when they want with their full cup. They leave when their cup is empty. Extremely non-committal energy. But I don't think these are the same cups. One more. Eight of swords in the world. Sometimes it happens like that. The thing you had to lay to rest, bide your time, hand it over to the universe. You may be pulled in two different directions and don't know if you can take the new cup because you haven't dumped the old one out yet. can't see this new glorious amazing cup because you're tunnel visioned on the cup that you had to walk away from. Why is the three of pentacles here? This Eight of Swords reversed over here in this world card. I think a cycle is going to come to a close. Or try to. But in that, someone might come back with a cup. But I don't think the results are going to be so favorable. This Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone may be coming back to see if there's anything left. If you know what I'm saying. I don't like pointing fingers. They come in when things are good. They dip when things are bad. And yeah. Yeah. 
But I think you've had enough of that. I think some of you this weekend, my air sign friends, might just say, you know what? Um, if I'm not doing this whole in and out thing, either you're in or you're out. Pick one. And if you leave again, the door's closed. Because I'm trying to establish a foundation and you're getting in my way. You're inhibiting my progress. Eight of Pentacles reversed. You're no longer putting the work into this. You're not going to feed the beast anymore. One more. Knight of Swords. Yeah. And you're not going to be shy about it. You're going to say what you have to say. Probably in a very public manner. Possibly. This Knight of Swords, I, I, someone may be screaming it from the rafters, but you do you. If that's how you got to let it out, that's how you got to release it and let it go. I'm not going to judge you. Okay. Two of Wands reversed, Knight of Wands reversed. Two of Cups, Eight of Cups reversed. movement That's an interesting little bit of advice, but we'll run with it. Speaking of getting in one's own way. The longer you hold on to the past, the rougher the journey is going to be. Sorry, I got quiet there for a second because I had to contemplate. The rougher the journey is going to be, the longer it's going to take it to get there. I think you need to start committing to you. The more of this in and out stuff. Hold on to the one that's worth holding on to. Hold on to the one that's going to commit. Two of Cups, upright, Eight of Cups reversed. Hmm. Not the cup. That's a cup. You don't get to go back and relive your moments. But every once in a while, the universe grants you a do-over. Mm-hmm. But with that, 
with the do-over, part of that return. Until the energy flow is positive, there may be a little bit of negative energy flow here with the whole you ignored them thing. Until the energy flow is positive again, work on you. Wow. Okay. I'm saying one more, so we'll do one more. <laughs> Seven of the Swords and the Hermits. Seven of Swords is, is reversed. Until they're coming back true and honest. Don't overthink it. Don't don't self isolate. I'm having a little trouble. I apologize. There's something I'm missing. But I'm not going to beat a dead horse either. Some of you may have a return coming up. I get ready. But until they come back with the truth and with honesty, this was laid to rest. You bided your time. I be extremely careful with this situation until you know that they are coming back honest and true. Until the energy flow is right. Until everyone's healed from what they needed to heal from. I think this is another one of those situations where it was equally painful for both of you. And sometimes it takes a minute for someone to come back and realize the wrongs that they've done to someone. You don't get a redo. But you can start over, if you so choose. Okay, that was weird. All right, guys. I think Tuesday night's about over. Thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow's July 1st. I'm going to start pumping out month of July readings, you know, right on time like I normally do. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Be blessed. Enjoy. I think I'm going to, I don't know, go lay in front of the air conditioner and go to bed. Bye for now. Get this thing to turn off.